Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform a mundane outdoor photo into one with drama and beauty by adding sunbeams. The size of this document is 48 by 29 inches with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of your image and then press Ctrl Shift U or Command Shift U to desaturate it. We need to isolate the brightest areas. In this image, it's the breaks in the trees. Press Ctrl or Command L to call up the Levels window and pump up the contrast all the way by sliding the shadows to the right and moving the highlights to the left. You want to end up with the areas that the sunbeams will pass through. Don't be concerned with areas such as the forest floor in this case. We'll block them out in a minute. Press B to call up your brush tool and make sure the opacity is a hundred percent. Now paint over those areas you don't want the sunbeams to pass through. Click on the channels tab and then click on the circular icon on the lower left. This will create a selection of all the tonal values of the image. Open up the layers panel and click on the new layer icon. We want to fill the selection with white. Since white is our background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete to fill it with white. Now we can trash our high contrast image since we don't need it anymore. Let's make a copy of these white highlights by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Go to Filter, Blur, and Radial Blur. The Radial Blur window will open. Choose 100 for the amount, Zoom, and Best. Move the center of the blur to an area that approximates the area of your image from where you want the source of the sunbeams. Press OK and let the Radial Blur process. Let's pump up the sunbeam effect by giving it an outer glow. At the bottom of the Layers panel, click on the FX icon and choose Outer Glow. The Layer Style window will open. The Blend Mode will be Screen, the Opacity 75%, and the Size is 1 pixel. Click on the Color box and choose a light yellow. Then close both windows. Let's soften it a bit by changing the Blend Mode to Soft Light. We're going to add another level of these sunbeams, so press Ctrl or Command J. We need to see more of the image on our screen, so go to the navigator and decrease the view size. Press Ctrl or Command T to call up your transform tool, and then click on the center point of the transform and move it to the source of your sunbeams. Now go to a corner and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and then drag out. Press Enter or Return to accept it. Press Ctrl or Command Zero to see the entire image on your screen. Let's soften the rays of this larger second set of sunbeams by going to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. I'm blurring this by about 54 pixels. Make active the original layer we created from the high contrast version of our image and go to Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur it by about 5 pixels and change the Blend Mode to Overlay. This bloomed out the brightest areas giving them a natural halo effect. By applying these techniques you can add some natural drama to your own outdoor photos. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.